Aziz, light! Aziz, light! Okay, uh, whoops, uh, we live, whoops, uh, we, seems good, Veldak, good to see you again, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well, Arkeel, I mean, sorry, Arkeel, Marcel, the text was a little bit hard to read with the blue and black, and that was an interesting, uh, autofill by my brain there. Welcome in Marcel, Philip e. good to see you again. Let's continue with space exploration. Wherein we just came back from our outing in the victory ship. Which was not perfect, uh, but it got the job done. Um, turns out there was a slight power bottleneck. Which only mattered when... We needed to regen the shields. Um, but its top speed was 255 point something. Um, so when we had to regen the shields and the accumulators were empty, uh, it would basically just lose one or two units of speed and then creep back up. Uh, and even though there was a little, little bit of power brownout, uh, when that happened, the uh, the, ne the Nexus would continue the countdown as long as we don't dip below 250 speed. And we didn't. So that is win condition number two, uh, officially complete. It's also kind of just a pretty... well, it looks a little silly on the map, but... It gives me some ideas. It's kind of a somewhat cool ship design. I might like to revisit uh, making a personal ship at some point. Hacks wake up. Wake up, Hacks. Why are we bunking? There is text on the screen. Indeed, indeed. Welcome in, Vinmars. D Hose, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Crazy Heather, welcome in. I am alive. Fantastic. Good to be alive. Alright, uh, what should we work on today? I need to redo Arcospheres at some point. And honestly, I, I don't have any ideas for something like super smart uh, to deal with Arcospheres. We've got Veldak's very clever balancing thing, but uh, it, it seems to have run into problems eventually. Um, since we've got an abundance of Arcospheres, I was thinking we basically just... Instead of having, like, a central computer and an algorithm 
the decides which recipes we should be running. Uh, we just decide them on an individual basis based on, you know, do we have less than target number of inputs? Uh, do we have greater than target number of outputs? If so, run the recipe. Uh, and we're probably going to loop endlessly. Uh, but that's, I, I guess, fine. I mean, we can pretend it's fine and quietly cry ourselves to sleep. Um, what's going on here? Are we stuck? Or... Why is there no antimatter? Why is there no particle stream? Uh, that's concerning. Why, why is there no particle stream? Why is there no material testing pack? Oh, it's probably because I ported it into the new system. Uh, and... And what? We've got material testing packs here. 632 plus 350. Oh, I think I know the answer. It's slightly less than a train load. And we're only requesting one train load at the moment. Um, where do we send these things upstairs? Here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I bet, I bet that's why. Okay. Um, so I only set this to ask for one train load. But because we're doing the cycle thing, instead of just having it a double train to a double train always, um, there's a train load here, but it doesn't know it. Um, but yeah, we can just... What am I doing? That's the provider side. Uh, it's actually downstairs that I set the requests for this. I could just as easily put the constant combinator for these things upstairs, but... Now, theoretically, if we have more than one train running this set of items, uh, and we set, like, three train loads of... a request for, like, three or four or five train loads of stuff here. Um, because the system can't account for what's in the trains, we're not using a counting system, uh, it might end up sending... Well, it, it, it will end up sending more stuff upstairs than we actually ask for. So we want to be a little bit careful with that. Um, but if we just... If we're only asking for a couple of train loads and there's only like one to three trains per set of items, uh, then I think it's probably fine. Here comes some more testing packs. And that should be able to sort out... I mean, we've got some catching up to do. Uh, it's a good thing we've got ludicrous amounts of antimatter downstairs in the storage for all of these things. Uh, and antimatter goes a very, very long way. But yeah, we've got a lot of catching up to do now to uh, to make particle streams so that we can make antimatter. So let's see, each half block, which is using beacon twos. I I knew there was a place where we were doing fifty fifty efficiencies and speeds in these things. It's if there's four speeds in the machines. Uh, anyway, uh, each half block is 584 per second. That's pretty fast. Isn't it one to one when we turn it into antimatter? Uh, it is. All we're paying to turn particle stream into antimatter is energy and cycling thermofluid. And, of course, there's always a little bit of loss with thermofluid. Um, but we're running the efficient uh, recipes, so it's 
It's practically just energy. It's fine. Lazaric, welcome in. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Name in base, no problemo. Okay. Uh are we doing this downstairs? Lazaric. How about here? Oops. And I forgot to launch my browser. Here comes a little bit of a lurch. Okay. There we go. Low CPU, please. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, so we've already got half of our copious particle accelerators online. Good, good, good. These don't eat testing packs that quickly, I'm pretty sure. The whole lot of these consumes 17.5 per second, uh, which is less than two stacks for the three blocks. So that's not too bad. Uh, it'll sort itself out pretty soon. Uh, what's our priority today, though? Ooh, how's mining rod research going? Let's see. Pack 4... Bio... Science Pack 4. It's been steadily consumed. At 98 per minute. For half an hour, and pretty much like 40 minutes, 35. Um, that's 3,444. So we're about a third or a bit more into eating through the backlog of bioscience. For this is already full. That's promising. Okay, how's our Vitamelange downstairs looking, though? It, some of it should have been consumed and sent upstairs. It's it's still super saturated at the point of Vit Reagent. Uh, what about down here? I guess I could do a search for um, spice. I think extract is a better indicator. Extract in storage. Oh, it doesn't actually give us numbers here. Never mind, I'll just click around. So that's super saturated. That's super saturated. That's super saturated. Uh, how many of these do we have to look at to start to see a shortage? Um, did I overdo it? Surely not. I mean, I hope so. Yeah, this is, uh... Oh, there we go. We found one that's not absolutely drenched in extract. But it's not moving. Is that because there's too much spice? That doesn't make sense. Well, there's very little spice in these containers, and we're not letting more spice in to turn it into extract. There's no bloom. Okay, cool. Wait, why is there no bloom? Because no nugget, because no vitamelange. Because there's actually a material shortage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, basically... What, what's with this? Oh, those are facing the other way. Since when did I do that? I, I think I did that at all of these, actually. Or perhaps I meant to. Uh, it's a little bit tedious to fix this way. I'm just going to do it with bot commands. And this goes here, this goes here. 
we just need any construction train to drive by. Any non-infinite recipes left? Uh, not really. There's technically a few. And this is going to be the same thing. Because I don't think we need these train stations anymore. Oops. Wait, where is that coming from? Oh, I think there's just like a couple of construction parts in this network. There we go. So this is going up here. Um, I, I, I got a little sidetracked though. We need to get an idea of exactly how much Vitam Lunch is left. Where did this come from just now? Well, either way. Okay, so like, most of these... Most of these are still saturated on Vitam Lunch. Which is obviously pretty good. It's what we want to see. Uh, could you please drive over here, and then over here, in case there's any more of these that I want to correct. There we go. Nope. Yes. So hard to see which way the purple belts are going. Oops. And did I actually fix the other side? Um might be easier. If I do it like this. If, if the belts are already empty. Then... We'll just pick them up and put them down. Loader. That'll do. Okay. That one doesn't look right. Okay, so I'm pretty sure all of these ones... Nope. Oh, God damn it! Is that the one I copy-pasted from? Razor, Razor, Razor. That one seems to be facing this way, but this part is whatever. Whatever. Train must have taken the last of it. Okay, so this one, surely, is all facing the right way. Yes? Let's try that again. And... All of that needs to be changed. Actually, that one's empty. We can just leave it. No, 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 it's not. Get out of there. If I paste this here, does it turn the belts around if they're already there but facing the wrong way? 
It definitely won't do it for the splitter. No, it doesn't work that way. Okay. And is that already in range? No, it's not. Marcel, welcome in. Uh, what size are your energy glaives? Uh, well, the ones that are actually deliberately sized for these power plants are meant to deliver 4 gigawatt of power. Uh, I think that's these ones? We've got 8 gigawatt input uh, transmitted at 52% efficiency. Movie your belts wasn't... got it now. Okay, cool. General Tank, welcome in. I th yeah, I thought I said hello, Marcel, earlier. Sometimes the, uh... Sometimes in the chat, the, the color of people's names changes after the first time they say something that day. It's weird. Okay, so that's already sorted. And then... Over here, please. What are we... What are we cheering for? Welcome in 55. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. And I think we already looked at the th third one over here. Okay, that'll do for now. Wait. Why can't I place this? Super wait, whoa, 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 Superior underground belt is in the way. It must mean this. There we go. Uh, okay, cool. So we've actually emptied these. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. So until further notice, we're just direct belting Vitamalange directly from core processing to the next step. Since it has a pretty small stack size. And high throughput. We just add another one of these here. Spice. And extract. Okay, I was just wondering at Hofnik's playthrough, we have a 900 gigawatt energy glaive but soon one terawatt, and it literally runs across the surface to hunt enemies. Even at 15 UPS, and would be fun to see one at high UPS. I see. Well, I think we're done hunting biters in this playthrough, uh, to be honest. Like, we might already have all, all of our outposts for the rest of the game. Hopefully. Let's redo explosives, since I was just looking at it. We need coal, sulfur, and water. I bet we can do that with a really tiny build. Like, maybe we could even... Uh, coal, sulfur, and water, you say? I'm thinking of squeezing it in somewhere so we don't have to have trains carry the inputs. We could just deal from this. We've got sulfur and water right here, because of course we've got water where we make sulfur. That means we just have to drop off coal. And we could add the coal request over here. And where the heck are you getting your water from? Oh, I forgot about these. 
That looks kind of weird. I think that was an accident. I think we were supposed to leave some little pools, so it at least looks like it makes sense. Um, but yeah. So we're going to do something like... We, we probably... Well, let's find out, I suppose. Uh, but we probably only need, like, one... Blo uh, one, one or two or three machines to make explosives ever at this point. And we're going to just use our very lazy heuristic of... We've been consuming about 45.6 per minute over the last 50 hours. We're going to guess that if we double that, it might be enough. Uh, and then we're probably going to find out that with high tier modules, uh, one or two or three machines is like way too much anyway. Okay, so we're going to do pickup station for explosives. We're going to turn this into a bringer of coal. And... Uh, just squeeze in... Well, l let's see how fast just one machine would be. Mad Dame Salsa, thank you very much for the 14 months. Much appreciated. And welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. This takes up more space than I realized it would. Um, I guess we could put it, like, down... Uh, let, let me have a look again at our current build. If we're trying to squeeze it into that. Got a lot of pipes over here. Mm. It's a little awkward trying to do it here. What about this one? Kind of the same deal. What if we did explosive pickup down here where the sulfur is? Why don't I just do another little half block, a uh, quarter block? I'm sure it's fine. Let's start from scratch. Alright. So we're doing this again. We're gonna have advanced chemical plants. At least one anyway. We're going to be making explosives. We're going to shape it for maximum tier modules. Which I think is 51 rounded up percent speed modules in the beacon. No? I was probably thinking of tier 6. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is 13 to 7. Anyway, uh, just one of these machines gives us 39 per second. Damn. What was the, uh, I think it was like 100 per minute over the last 50 hours, right? Explosives, 50 hours, 45.6 per minute. So it was like 100 if we double it is what I meant. Uh, and this one machine is 2.3k per minute. <laughs> okay, then. Um, that's, that's half a train load per minute. Yeah. 660 coal and sulfur per minute. 11 per second. That's not too bad. Should we bother making more than one machine? Uh, the water, 
the the water required is so small that we could have trains bring it here. But we're going to build it close to the sulfur anyway, where there's water, lots of water. I mean, we'd only need a train for water every almost 10 minutes. Well, 9 minutes. About 9 minutes. But... There's really no need for it. And just to be sure, I think I will do... If we can fit it, that is. Uh, triple machines. Oh, you're kidding. It doesn't reach unless I put it over here. Let's just see what the pickup station would look like. So we're going to put that there. And we're going to need some long arms. I think I will just do one machine here. We can do a small beacon. A compact. Compact Beacon 2, which doesn't need as many high-tier modules to get the same effect. Although we don't have as granular control over the rate with this. So that's plus 200%, which means we wouldn't need like a tier 9 beacon... Uh, and uh, in, uh, tier 9 efficiency in this slot. And we wouldn't get as much speed. Crafting speed is only 40 as opposed to 44. Is the best we can do. But that's fine. It, this is still, this is already way, way, way faster than we're ever going to need. Three quarters of a stack of explosives per second. I think we'll manage. Now then. Uh, I think we'll just direct pipe the water, so we're not going to bother with a train drop-off for that. And then we just... Direct insert. The two solids. Request a station. What am I looking for? Here it is. Coal. Two train loads and sulfur. Two train loads. And no fluids required. Long trains only. This one can be short trains and long trains and we'll just limit it. I'm sure with uh, three quarters of a stack per second, we won't have too much uh, calamity occurring just because we only wait for one train load to accumulate at a time. If, if there's a run on explosives, it'll be sorted out literally in, what, two minutes? Uh... Yeah, like two, two, two and a bit minutes, probably less than two and a half minutes to fill a train load. I'm sure we'll be fine. All right, short trains, long trains, provide stack threshold 100, limit this to 100 stacks, and that's going to be it. And this should be the last explosive build we ever need to do. And we... I'm pretty sure... With tier 6 modules, uh, it'll already still be pretty decent. Like, more than... Probably more than the throughput that we have with our many machines that we've currently got. Let's see... 24.8 crafting speed. 1.16k per minute, or 19.344 per second. Uh, as opposed to... This doesn't even have modules in it. As opposed to 24 per second. Oh no, it's a downgrade. I'm 
sure we'll be fine. Coal and sulfur requester going into advanced chemical plant. All this time I didn't even know we weren't getting prod modules from explosives. Uh, prod bonuses. But the inputs are pretty abundant, so... Well, on second thought, we have had coal shorted. No, we haven't. Not since we learned to turn oil into coal. Okay. So this one is explosives provider. And that's going to be it. That's the whole build. Uh, I guess we can signal this properly as well. Even though I'm pretty sure this is so much, so much more than the demand that I'm not too worried about. <laughs> like we we could scrounge a couple of signals. I'm sure it doesn't make that much difference. All right, I'm not even going to make a blueprint for this. We're just going to copy pasta and probably put that. We can't fit it here, right? Uh, I can't mirror it because rail blocks. Probably that's where the names are. Well, this was not meant to be permanent. I could always move this. Or I could just put this up here and we can borrow the water from from this oil build since the amount of oil uh, water that we need is so small seems good it looks a little weird actually it's defying the convention okay fine Let me just whip this up real quick. Can we flip things with bulk rail loaders? I think technically yes. Uh, but in practice, it's going to do weird things. Okay. So that goes here. And that goes here. And that goes here. And I'll just rotate that wherever it's convenient. What is going on with... Oh, I see. A little bit of rail missing. Add some signals. And that should be it. Alright, let's get the construction train over here. Do we have compact beacons in the train? What is going on? Uh, let's get this sorted out. Max Sud, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, and yeah, do we have compact beacons downstairs at the moment? We do. Compact beacon 2. We just need one at the moment. I don't know how much space we've got spare in the middle wagon. Takes a little longer to reload than I thought. Uh, we don't have to carry matter plants all the time. Yeah, looks like there's no room. Matter plant is not something we're usually building. There we go. Okay. Uh, and this can stack to 25, so we can definitely carry a few more of those. 
Alright, this should get built in one hit. Uh, and I just realized... Let me just re remove the request here first. Because we want to drain out the old explosives. Priority... Plus one. And apparently... Did, did we move explosives to be moved up with the new system? We did. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So we don't need to worry about, like, vanilla train schedules and train limits and stuff. Uh, so we just bump up the priority on this one. It'll empty out first. And kill the request on this one. Get out of here. Uh, and I could go and move explosives from here to here as well. I guess since we're just waiting for resources to drain out, we could just get rid of all but a few of these machines. That one's a little bit more awkward. I think I've got a decon planner for blue inserters. Yeah, that'll work. It's fine if we take that back to the mall. Okay, so that's most of the machines here going to be gone. This one's already complete. Let's add our tag. What? What? Right about here. And show that this one's waiting to be constructed. I forgot to... I've got to do the pipes while we're while the construction train is here. Let's do it like this. We'll just steal from this thing since it's quite a small uh, amount of water that we need. But we can't steal it from here because we're using pumps to control uh, whether or not we're cracking. Either block the input or the output. Alright, so this is going to go up here, and we're going to need just one extra connection there. Uh, and then, and then I guess it's fine to put that combinator back. I guess it was fine all along, unless I want to move the explosives so that this will drain out faster. It's pretty close together. I think I'll just go down there and ferry things across myself. How's dispatch looking? We're pretty confident now that the system of counting the ships is working. Why do we have 11 ships with Iridite, though? What? Iridite, core frag, storage, all surfaces. And as of now, it says 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, it seems to be accurate. I, I don't know why... I don't know why we've got eleven ships with Iridite core frags. Everything else is pretty well balanced. 
Captain True, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Are we witnessing the end of squirrels? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. We're finding squirrels. It depends. It depends on your definition of squirrel. Where do you draw the line? So, wow, what a good problem to have. I think we have to increase the rate at which we can delete it. Died. Is that the reason? I think iridite might be the only resource that we haven't made a turn it into matter converter for. We can't do it with Vitamelange. But we've got uh, Imosite and Uranium. We can get rid of by turning it into matter. Uh, we've got stone, sand, mineral water, food oil. Well, why don't I just search these? Uh, we're looking for matter plant. Matter plant. Entity. E at Hagen. Okay. So we've got iron, copper, coal, rare metals, sand and stone, and oil. Basically, every, and uranium, everything that comes out of regular core frags. Uh, we've got Crinite, we've got Vulcanite, we've got... This thing here is basically so that we don't end up with too much 238, so that we can't get 235, and oh my goodness, it never occurred to me that we would have to limit the 235. Um, that's a pretty good problem to have. That's... that's a real good problem to have. Okay, so Uranium-235 has to be less than half of this. Ish. Good... Reef. We do have... a train load and... almost a train load and a half waiting with 238 here. I think we can also make the 230A directly over here as well. Yeah, we're never going to have a problem with that. Is this, um... Yeah, it is below normal priority to pick stuff up that's made from matter. So that should be fine. Uh, but yeah. What was I doing? Uh... These are defunct. They were extra barrel removers. Um, this is... No, we do have iridite being deleted. At a pretty quick rate for iridite, I imagine. 11.7 iridite per second. Iridite's quite a slow resource. Oh. Uh, I mean, I guess the iridite itself, in that form, isn't as slow as I thought it was. These blocks are capable of 413 per second. And this is deleting 11 per second. That might be a little bit of an issue. Chatton, welcome in. Don't know much about Factorio. Is this some kind of sandbox mode? Uh, this? This is a kind of sandbox mode, yes. How did we end up with eight stone core frags? That's weird. I guess I'll just take that back where it belongs. Right before we do the explosives thing. Uh, home James. Wait, why don't we use the spider? Spidertron remote. 
don't walk over any spaceship blocks. There we go. Uh, but yeah, I'll show you once I get out of the vehicle. The the area with the like the checkered pattern on the floor called lab tiles. Uh, that is courtesy of a mod called Editor Extensions. Uh, and in the mod options, you can you can set it up so that you have like this parallel surface uh, that you can jump back and forth between that doesn't normally interact with uh, the main game. So you can just use it to build blueprints. It's got infinite resources and... Well, it's, it's got cheat resources and you can edit the map and stuff. Alright, let's go move these explosives over. I guess it's fine if I pick this stuff up into my... Uh, into my backpack. Also, we still haven't made those pipes yet. Probably for the best, because I want to move the explosives before we start making more. Up we go. How's our power? Quite low. Oh, no, wait. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop. I guess it's okay if the train brings the resources. I'm going to unlimit these temporarily. And that empties the spider. And I guess we'll be able to move basically all of this. Since there was no extra storage, that train spooked me for just a second before I realized I'm in a Spidertron. And boop. You know what I'd really like? Uh, a mini. RTG that only takes up two by two. Shift C. There we go. Doesn't have to be very good. Just, I don't know. Say a little bit worse than a big portable solar imosite panel, but works 24 7. That'd be nice. I think I forgot to use all the inventory space available to me there. How much room do we have? Holy... Uh, we're actually like three quarters done. Our poor spider has run out of juice. Let's let him rest. Actually realizing jetpack is much quicker here. I see what you meant before. The names in the chat are changing. Like the one from my tiny start. I thought that might somehow have something to do with, uh, with OBS, but I, I, I think the chat and stuff in OBS is just using, like, a browser inside it, so I guess it wouldn't surprise me if you can see the exact same thing in Twitch. It's going to sit full most of the time Why limit the pickup, uh, just so that it's always balanced. Because we're going to keep up with the demand so easily, I don't think it's going to be a problem. Alternatively, I guess we could just unlimit it, like always. Okay, um, I could probably, that's not a lot. We could move this while we're at it. There's actually more here. Sure. Let's just get rid of this whole block. So we don't have to think about it later. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. 
Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Let's get the explosives moved over first. Oh right, there's a trickle of them. Uh, I guess I should get rid of these. And I guess I could just decon this now. Shift C, and then mark that for decon. Bots are very, very fast if they don't have to travel far. And do it again. Oh, that's it. Fantastic. All right. Uh, let's remove all of this mess and tidy up what's left. And it's like the block was never there. Lots of ships going, indeed. I wonder where they're going right now. This one's for Vulcanite. We don't actually have a ship on the way back with uranium right now. But I doubt that's a problem. I mean, we just looked at uranium earlier today. It's super saturated. Was that already everything? Yeah, it was. Cool. Uh, old explosive block. Gone. I don't think it was 48 machines this time. I think it was more like 24. Uh, we should probably rebalance this. It's probably already balanced. Because I used Shift C. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Uh, and I will... I mean, this is already full. Hmm. I think I'll limit the back first. And that way, if short trains keep coming and picking this up... Uh, you know what, it's, it's so fast, it's going to sort itself out. It's fine. Imp Evil Twin, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright. So what's uh, what's next? I'd like to do another one of these uh, today. Let's, let's get our machine count down. Holy cow. Crap, it takes a lot to support solid rocket fuel with K2. I forgot about this. We could definitely, definitely pare that down a bit. Um, don't really feel like dealing with it right this minute. I don't think there's any better machines for electrolysis, but we could certainly use higher tier modules. I'm not super concerned about that one. I'm looking for another build where we've got like 48 or 96 machines and it's just super saturated all the time and it still has tier 3 prod modules, if anything. Uh, kind of like... Kind of like this. There's no... Uh, there's no higher tier centrifuges, unfortunately, without adding them with a specific mod. Um, so it's not going to be that much better, but we didn't know exactly how much we'd need when we built this. But we did end up building another one, so it's not going to be that slow. 
but I'm sure if we build it for top tier modules. Also, while we're at it, we could probably direct belt some of this stuff. Build it right here. Uh, we could probably make a much, much smaller build for enrichment of uh, Vulcanite. We can get rid of the old Vulcanite core frag uh, block as well. Build here. Oh, that's right. I wanted to... I wanted to update this to new version... Let's just go over there ourselves for the decon. I wanted to update this to the new version of the regular core fragment blocks. Actually, do we even need... Eh, whatever. I'd rather have more than we need than not enough. So that we can process regular core frags. just want to pick up everything but the train stops. Uh, th well, more importantly, everything but the bulk rail loaders and fluid tanks. Nope. Close. Did we update that in this build? Really? Oh, uh, yeah, we did. It, it's not perfect, but it definitely uh, loads the trains a lot faster. I ended up just settling for making the provide threshold like 40k higher than it should theoretically need to be, because the fluids are so viscous, it takes time to flow to the pumps. Um, but yeah. Let's remove all the old stuff. Get rid of these old belts. And I think that's everything. Except maybe these pipes get moved. All right, now we just copy pasta, new version in. Should be fine to just, oh. I didn't realize. Uh, that's kind of a lot of pyroflux to waste. On the other hand, we're always saturated on pyroflux. It's it's probably fine. Just pretend you didn't see that. Okay. Oop. Uh, I want to get rid of the old wind turbines as well. Uh, where's the... Here it is. And that is done, except for the purple belts and the large storage tanks. Cool. Construction train, if you please. I think I know what mod you're thinking of. They look very good, indeed. Yeah, I would be all over that if, uh, if not for my policy that I'm not touching something with the version update or mods or anything this deep into such a big playthrough that I'm streaming. There we go. Should get done in one go. Maybe not actually, because there's loads of belts. We're two undergrounds short. And nothing else? Really? Really, really? Okay, then. I see how it is. 
did we just, like, even destroy this and not get a single recipe out? I want to make sure all the fluids are going where they're supposed to. There we go. Good, good, good. Um, I think I didn't touch... No, we're good. Didn't touch the requests for these. But it's fine. Alright, back to the mall. Let me make sure I didn't neglect the chat. Cool, cool, cool. What's next? Oh. I'm already dreading looking at how many of these we've got left. Oh. Y yeah. That many cargo rocket sections. Uh... Technically, there is a use for them. Well, not technically. It's it's part of one of... It's part of a few of the sciences. There's very little demand for them throughput-wise at this point. But... Where is it? Oh, it's way down here, isn't it? Uh, space probe rockets. I could definitely change that to LTN. Yeah, we're still... I, I, I did set up a thing to priority consume the old cargo rocket sections. Instead of making them based on all this stuff. But it's going to take forever to go through those. I'm almost tempted to nuke them, to be honest. All right, how about solid rocket fuel? Let's let's do an end game build for solid rocket fuel. Boop. And a boop. Now, solid rocket fuel with K2. Uh it has a few recipes. We can make it with, it's a thousand oxygen each, no matter what. We can make it with a, a thousand ammonia, a thousand hydrogen chloride, or just a hundred light oil. I say we take off and nuke the entire site from orbit. Why not nuke? We're, we're not nuking on Hagen. It's the only way to be sure. It was a figure of speech. Um, but we can certainly nuke Nalvis. Let's send the yeet cannons our regards viking gamer this one's for you fan well not fantastic it didn't quite kill it but it's progress larius welcome in hope you're doing well good to see you again um yeah so we're doing light oil, I think that makes the most sense, on a planet where we've got unlimited access to oil. Um, I say we take off and nuke the entire site from orbit. Larius would like a nuke as well. It's the only way to be sure. I think this one will definitely kill the other delivery cannon. Let's get it done. I think we got him. Yep. They are Dunsky. Fantastic. Alright, so we need ludicrous amounts of oxygen. Light oil and iron plate inputs are pretty trivial here. Uh, and then it doesn't take a lot to consume all of the solid fuel to make liquid rocket fuel. What do we even use liquid rocket fuel for anymore, though? 
it's not needed for like science or anything. It's literally just cargo rockets and spaceships, right? I mean, we could use it as a power source, but it's nowhere near as good as antimatter for that. Uh, two megajoules as opposed to uh, as opposed to ten times the density. Yeah, that's not happening. Um, I'm pretty sure we literally just don't have... Oh, there, there's solid rocket fuel, but um, that we use for jetpacks and science and stuff. But I'm pretty sure for the liquid rocket fuel, uh, we literally have no reason to put it into the rail network anymore. Let's see. Search for storage, liquid rocket fuel, all surfaces, Hagen orbit. We do need to update this old ship. I mean, we don't need to for a while, but it's the only one. Oh, these, these still run on ion. Speaking of needing to update, isn't that cute? Oh, these two are just in the solar system, so yeah, we can get away with it. Uh, but yeah, you absolutely can make some... some interstellar liquid rocket fuel ships with limited range. Uh, but yeah, so apart from some spaceships that we want to... Update and phase out. Cargo rockets that we're not using anymore. Uh, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure there's not as We need to go and decon all this. Good grief. I'm pretty sure there's not a single reason uh, to bother putting liquid rocket fuel into the rail network anymore. So it's really just a question of... Well, hold on. Let's just quickly revisit the other ways to make solid rocket fuel. Did you not already design them? Uh, the end game solid rocket fuel? No, I don't think so. Dilka, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Hello, hello. Uh, ammonia, I think, is the version that traces back to basically nothing but water. Uh, I think we were just looking at it, actually. Budkai. Yeah. Uh, lots of water, uh, electrolysis, hydrogen, and oxygen. And then with that, we make... The hydrogen goes into ammonia. We get nitrogen from... From what? Where do we get nitrogen from? Nitrogen... Oh. Yeah, we just extract nitrogen from the atmosphere somehow. Uh, so that's basically free. Just like water. Uh, smash them together. We've got ammonia. And pour that into... Oxygen and ammonia into solid rocket fuel, and we're basically just playing, uh, just paying iron plates. Uh, so very, very cheap for the fuel on, like, mid-early game outposts, uh, but you need a stupid amount of machines to get even half decent throughput with it. Hence this mess. Um, but yeah, we're definitely not going to be using that recipe. Uh, the other alternatives were hydrogen chloride, which is just way, way, way more expensive. We've already got all of these huge builds to make hydrogen chloride um, to support 
processing of pulmonite and I think iridite. Yeah, iridite. I don't think it, it is needed for barrel. No, it's not needed for barrel. Uh, but yeah, that's definitely not the way to go. So I think the only one left is light oil. Oh, there's pyroflux. Hmm. This is, yeah, this is one I wouldn't have considered ages ago. The pyroflux is basically free now. We do have to import it. Okay, we get a little bit of pyroflux from regular core frags. Uh, core fragment vanilla. We get four pyroflux from 20 regular core frags. Uh, and of course we get a lot more from Vulcanite core frags. Uh, I stand corrected? Wait, really? 20 Vulcanite core frags makes 4 pyroflux. 20 regular core frags makes 4 pyroflux. Discounting the small amount of regular core frags you get from this as well. That's surprising. Um, but of course the Vulcanite itself uh, can get processed into pyroflux. Although... Uh, it's kind of expensive. Like, py Pyroflux is... In terms of amount, it's very low throughput to produce and to consume uh, as a liquid. Rug Stealer, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Spent all my points nuking Nalva, so I don't have a pithy aphorism today. Hope you're all sitting well. Uh, still doing well, regardless. Fantastic. Not too bad, thanks. Scobix, welcome in. Hope you're doing well also. New data ships. Yes, indeed. I feel like those are meant to remove byproducts or SE just in case recipes. Just in case recipes. Um, but yeah, we could probably... That's a lot of pyroflux for one solid rocket fuel. Uh, we could probably, like, keep up with our demand of SRF with fewer machines with this. But I don't want... I, I don't want to increase the demand of spaceships moving stuff around. Uh to simplify the solid rocket fuel build slightly. It's only a discount of like 50% oxygen. <laughs> We're paying 500 instead of 1,000. Uh, but yeah, we, we didn't even like use speed modules. Uh, can you use speed modules? Yeah, you can. We didn't use speed modules for the uh, oxygen. Is this the only way you get oxygen? In this... Uh... You can have oxygen barrels? That's kind of funny. <laughs> so a packet of chips. Uh, yeah, we can get oxygen from water with uh, electrolysis, but much easier it is to get it straight from an atmospheric condenser. All right. So let's go with, uh, I want to see advanced chemical plant, solid rocket fuel, where, where the heck is it? Oh, can I not make it with this? No, we need a fuel refinery or something. This weird K2 thing. So we don't have a bigger machine to make this, sadly. Uh, and it's definitely going to be light oil. Oh, there's other ways. No, no, we already looked at those. Okay, so light oil. 
to solid rocket fuel. Let me just confirm. There's only one machine to do this. Yep. Uh, so we're going for prod nines. And we're probably only going to have one or two of these machines. In fact, I'm sure we will. Uh, what was the other thing? Liquid rocket fuel. We never need to make that again. Okay, so let's ratio our modules here. Uh, where's the power consumption? Oh. 1,800, 400, plus 80%. Oh, sorry, minus 80%. So this is 8.8 .8 per second. Uh, that's a lot. Per minute is 528. That's a lot for solid rocket fuel. Solid rocket fuel, last 50 hours, is 12 per minute. So yeah, I think this is probably enough for the whole game. Uh, 58 per minute. Oh, 528 per minute, jeez. Per second is not really a problem for our trains. We need 5.5k oxygen per second, though. Uh, atmospheric condenser with... Oh, we might need a big beacon, actually. We'll see. Uh, with top tier speed modules under the same mini beacon gives us 405 per second. Yikes, we're still going to need lots of these. Uh, I was hoping we could make something a bit more efficient. Well, maybe we could just not worry about having the one machine go as fast as possible. That That's an option. It uses 200 per second, 12k per minute. Uh, so we could run it for 16 minutes and 40 seconds off of a single huge storage tank. And we know that the overall rate that this can produce at is way faster than we need it to be. So yeah, why don't we just have like one machine? Um... Yeah, I take everything back. Let's have mini beacon. And... Unfortunately, we can't make this, like, symmetrical if I use a mini. There is a bigger fuel refinery. Fuel refinery. Um... Is this actually a thing we can build? No, no, I noticed, uh, in the editor we can find a thing called Fuel Refinery. That looks just like, uh, vanilla oil refinery. Where is it? Oh, the, right, we deleted those. Plastic, this is another one of those 48 machine builds that we want to simplify. Uh, yeah, it looks just like the vanilla oil refineries. Fuel ref. Uh, I remember using these in the last SE playthrough. There actually isn't a solid rocket fuel recipe for these, except for the pyroflux one. That's weird. Wasn't expecting that. Uh, but yeah, apparently, like, we don't have a way to make these anyway. Let me just make sure I didn't somehow skip researching them. I didn't. Didn't SE make the SE version of the fuel refinery as a faster machine for K2 SE? Uh, I don't know. One sec.
Oh, that went down wrong. Yeah, I know I'm muted. Give me, give me a minute. Damn it, this machine's too small to make a nice direct input. I guess we barely need input for this. We could do a short train. Which means we probably don't need to use this much of a quarter block. But I guess we'll stick to convention, more or less. Um... How about a huge storage tank like this? There's no way I can, like, directly connect it, is there? Man, the little tiny baby machines make it impossible to do what I want to do here. Actually, how about... Okay, so that, like, how about one each? So we can direct insert the iron. Uh, and we could have like... No, no we can't. If we put a huge storage tank for light oil, we'd need to put these like at least one tile apart. That can go there, and I guess we'd need a larger beacon. It's not going to look great if I do it like this. Also, that would be in the way of a pipe here. Why don't I do a huge tank? How about a couple of huge tanks for oxygen? And then, it looks kind of weird actually. Let's just use regular steel pipe. That's not too bad. Uh, and we're going to need a beacon. Well, do we really? Sure. One beacon, or favor. So you can get, uh, you can put pumps over bulk rail loaders. Well, you can put anything over the corner bits of the bulk rail loaders. Uh, if you put containers there, that's when they will automatically put things in or take things out of them with the invisible inserters. Uh, but you, yeah, you can put anything on these corners. The actual container is 4x4. Four four. And this part's obviously rail. Um, it looks a little bit different with the... Uh with the actual loader as opposed to unloader, this is a bit of a better representation. The unloader just looks a bit, uh, the graphic doesn't quite line up with where the, where the container is. Okay. So I guess we'll do something like this. And it would Oh, it's two speeds and three prods. Plus 400%, minus 80. Exactly one megawatt? I can live with that. Or maybe we use like a tier 7 efficiency. Anyway, uh, that's 1.2 megawatt. Ah, screw it. Well, I'm sure by the time we're spamming 
tier 9 modules. We're not caring about it that much. So, uh, this is capable of consuming 720,000 oxygen per minute or 12k per second. Uh, but as we calculated before, uh, it's actually, yeah, this is actually a bit different. It's 33 minutes, uh, for one of these to completely drain one of these of oxygen. That's without these running. Uh, so like 45 minutes, if these were suddenly removed, that this could run continuously. And it's very, very fast compared to our needs. Um, so yeah, this is, this is a thousand percent a case for storage, as opposed to making it able to go continuously. Um, but yeah, I think that'll do... Oh, we actually need a station to pick up the fuel. That might be a good idea. That might be a good idea. Um... I'd like for the station to be here like we usually do. I guess we can do that. I could put this here and put this here and just put these over here. And we should be able to just direct pipe. That's not too bad. I can live with that. So this is going to go here. And signals. Just like that. Seems good. Uh, and I guess we'll limit this. Alright. Uh, we need some standard pickup. Standard requester. This goes here. And we're looking for iron plate. One point five train loads should be more than enough. Way more than enough. Seven point two stacks per minute if it was going continuously, and it absolutely won't be. Uh and light oil. Just the usual amount should be fine. Long trains only? Sure. So this is... Iron plate. Light oil. Going into fuel. Refinery. And out comes SRF. And this is just SRF provider. Uh, short trains, long trains, any kind of trains. Provide stack threshold 100. Should be fine. So this is actually capable of like two stacks per second. For the SRF output. Just with two machines. I'm sure that'll be more than we need. And that is, that is going to be a much, much cleaner build than this monstrosity. <laughs> Should we move it while we're at it? So the only inputs are very slow iron plate and light oil, which means we can put this wherever we want. Uh, I don't really want to put it particularly close to like water. We might want to put something else there. 
You could just squeeze it in here. There's really any number of places I could put it. But I might want to put... I might want to move some of these rail blocks in so we can make the uh, rail network footprint a bit smaller later on. How about here? Why not? I kind of want to update this uh, floor while we're at it. Wait for inactivity. And I guess we can kick this up while we're here. Oops. There's another one, isn't there? I guess I'll wait for the bots. Oh, wait, this works. And... Uh, I should probably... Let's just move the construction train over, and I'll use module inserter. Rather than copy past to the uh, correct modules from the editor space. Hello there, Pospec. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome. So you can put pumps... Uh, yes, yes. Okay. So we're going to need some... That's a lot of speed modules. Oh, we didn't bring fuel refineries or Atmo condensers. Because we don't normally need those. That'll do. I guess I could just fly over. It's right there. And some speed modules. Did we really only bring two of these? Come on. Uh, and some prod sixes. Sure, why not? So nice to be able to take these for granted at this point. I guess uh, at some point we'll be taking tier 9 modules for granted. Eventually. Alright, we want to disable... Drop off... These. And... Increase the priority... To pick up solid rocket fuel from the older blocks. That said, um, I think solid rocket fuel might still be in the old system. Yeah, here it is. So we've got a vanilla train running these up. Like a dedicated train with a vanilla schedule. So we just need to port it, we need to port it over to the new system before all of that runs out, but that's going to take a while. Uh, I'm surprised if we don't have more Atmo condensers. We do have Atmo condensers. Why did the bots bring me two? It's so rude. Alright, let's go home. Well, I guess I could just steal one from the from the builds we're looking to get rid of. Yoink. Also, can we update this? 
lovely floor. There we go. Wait for inactive. I bet we can do better with wor- oh. Wow, that's already using tier 6s. We don't have white beacon 2s though. Wood is super slow. Oh, I think there's a recipe using uh, fertilizer, which we could probably spam. I haven't updated the fertilizer build either, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yes I have. It's just using tier 3 modules though. Biomatter and nitric acid. We could redo biomatter as well. We're not, um... I think we've got like a million, yeah, biomatter machines from when we were using it to get biosludge started. We definitely don't need that many now. Biomatter, 50 hours. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, you can definitely see on the 250 or 1000 hour graph. Jeez, 1000 hour graph. Uh, you could definitely see where we were using this to make bio sludge. Um, but last 50 hours, it's like 107 per minute. If we imagine we need 200 per minute, then this is already way faster than we need, just one block. And that's with tier 3 modules. Um, but I'm thinking we could redo this along with fertilizer at the same time, so we could direct belt the biomatter. Uh, and then it's just nitric acid, which I think goes into a few places. We're already doing ammonia and nitric acid together. This needs updating. Nitric acid goes into... Mold stuff, fertilizer, mold stuff, mold stuff, antibiotivirus capsule. Oh, imicite. Yeah, so we definitely need that at scale. It's also used to make iridite, or oh, iridium, blue balls, vitalic acid. Uh, and solar panels. So I think this general design can stay. Just do these two together in the same block. So we'll import the nitric acid. Uh, but I think we'll do the... Uh, I think we'll do the fertilizer and biomatter next to each other. This is probably honestly pretty close to the final build already. How much fertilizer are we going through? Well, we're going to be going through more. 3.55 per minute. And this is 3.8k per minute. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, we don't need this many machines. Uh, but if we use fertilizer to make wood... Let's see. Water only is... Uh, 120 per... 120 seconds over 20 wood. 6 wood per second? No, if it's per second it must be 20 over 120, right? Yeah, 0.17 wood per second. Uh, the sand variant that we're using is 40 over 60, which is 0.67 per second. We could make it from bioculture, which seems like a terrible idea. Uh, we get it as byproducts. Vitalic hydrocarbon extraction. Wait, what? Coal, wood, and crude oil from much more valuable stuff. No thanks. 
What machine is that done in? Chemical plants. Oil refinery. Oil refinery biochem facility. Uh, anyway, I was more interested in this. Uh, so, two-thirds per second becomes one and a third per second if we use fertilizer. I think it uses a lot less uh, water as well. No, it uses more water. Well, it's pretty slow with the water, though. Yeah, it's super slow with the water. So, yeah, we can pay less sand and get wood faster with fewer machines. Uh, if we start using fertilizer for it. What else does fert go into? Nutrient gel. So it's really just nutrient, it's literally just nutrient gel and wood. So ideally we do biomatter, fertilizer, and wood in one block, I think. Don't see unloading station, where do you unload your trains? Uh, you mean these? Echo Laguna, welcome in. Yeah, this is a bulk rail unloader. Um, it's basically just a big container that... Th there's a loader equivalent. Um, there's some invisible inserters packed into it. Simplifies the builds and is better for UPS than the, like, 24 smart inserters that I've used in the past. That is a bit of a mess. Do we have some construction bots here? We do not. Let's get those picked up. Thanks, you're welcome. Uh, if you're going to use that mod, um, just be aware but that by default uh, it'll only work with really basic resources like iron and stone and stuff. Uh, there, there's just a mod setting for it. So when you're wondering why... Wondering why it's not working, that's why. There we go. So how fast is this? Uh, 10 per second. A stack per second is still pretty fast. Doesn't seem to be actually doing that. Because we're bottlenecked on the... Wait, what? We're bottlenecked on oxygen. Even though there's 20k oxygen. Two pieces of pipe away from this machine. Really? Really, game? Come on. Eh... <sighs> Whatever, I know it'll be faster when this is more full. It's still pretty silly and annoying. Obviously I could put a pump here, but I wouldn't be able to fit it on this side. It, it's going to be way faster than our needs. That's And it's few machines, that's what matters. Okay. Uh, let's do plastic. That's going to be pretty straightforward. Where's the mole? So plastic. You know what? Even before I... No, it's fine. Let's, let's compare. This build with tier 3 modules. 166.66 per second. Uh, production, consumption, over the last 50 hours, 2.5k per minute. This is capable of 10k per minute, so it's already way faster than we probably need for the end game. Uh, 
but yeah. Um, if we do one advanced chem plant, making plastic, max tier modules, with a compact beacon. With minimal power consumption, uh, 144 per second, 8.6k per minute. Yeah, we can mostly keep up with our old build with one machine with max tier modules without even using a, a big beacon. Because that can give us a little bit more speed with the same efficiencies. All right. Um, so let's just line this up. And do the usual. How fast does it go through petroleum? 2k per minute. That's. F Wait. 48k per minute. Um, but again, it's. Uh, it's, it's half a train load per minute of coal. And it's like three quarters of a train load per minute of petroleum. Um, but that's only assuming it's running at full speed all the time, which it absolutely will not be doing. So I think this will be fine. And we'll put the... I could scooch this up right next to uh, the machine. I just have like some corner belts for output. Or I could just do this. Actually, it's only one solid, right? Let's do belts. That's going to look a little weird. That goes there, and that goes there. Sure. And same shape as the last build. Cool. This is provider. This is requester. Don't forget to tell LTN what's in the fluid tanks. One loader is the wrong way around. Good catch, thank you. Sharp eyed D hose. I see that even with thousand machines, you have 30 UPS, even with thousand machines. Uh, well, we're currently uh, reducing our number of machines. We're, we're, we're paring things down. We're making it more efficient. Uh, so this is requesting coal and petroleum. Right? Advanced chem plant, making plastic, coal petroleum, uh, long trains only, seems good, and this is just plastic pickup. What, what the, no. Seems good. Uh, where should we build it? Where should we build it? Pretty much wherever we like, I guess. Where's our coal block? That's it over there.
and this only outputs crude. Most of our oil is up here. I guess we could just put it up here with all the these other small builds. Definitely could have squeezed it into one of these other quarter blocks, but it's fine for now. Let's do this again. And... Oh. Uh, I guess this time I might just design the tier 6 modules before we send the construction train over. Construction train, if you please. And that should be plastic sorted out. Let's bump up the priority on this one. Kill the input. And mark that to be deconstructed eventually. Just like whatever was here. I am Wolves. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I forgot to do the requests. Uh, so it's obviously just going to be coal. Couple of train loads. And petroleum. There's room for 250k here. And plastic... Demand can be a bit spiky, right? Wait, how fast is this? Uh, 77 per second. I think I'll just unlimit this. Or we could do the good old push stuff from the back to the front thing. That should be fine. And I guess we could just move that. Because there's no need to have those extra belts there. Oh. Uh, minor, de minor detail. We forgot the pumps. I say we, but there's probably someone pointing out that I missed it. Manually added minus 24k. Oh yeah, that's just how LTN works. Um, so LTN, it, it's a little counterintuitive at first, but I think it clicks once you... Hold on. Yeah, construction train is coming. Oh, construction train's not getting here. Because this guy's in the way. There we go. No. No, that's not going to cut it either. How about this? Here we go. Uh, yeah, it, it clicks pretty easily, I think, once you realize LTN is always trying to push this number towards zero. Uh, so if it's a provider station, you don't need to give it any uh, signals here. Uh, implicitly with uh, the circuit network, if you connect it to a container, by default, it's going to read contents. That's the only option with bulk rail loaders anyway. Uh, it gives a positive signal for the plastic that's in here. Uh, and once that reaches the provide threshold and or provide stack threshold, uh, it's going to be considered to be available to LTN. Um, so since positive signals are how it says that there's items available, Negative signals are how it says we need something. 
Uh, it's always trying to push these numbers towards zero. And it's pretty much as simple as that. Alright, so that is plastic. The last plastic build we will ever need to make. Feels nice. Um, did we already update this? No, definitely not. It's basically sand and a bit of vulcanite. Negative is input, positive is output. Yes. Yeah, just think of it, uh, it wants to push it to zero, and the default with circuit network, when you connect it to a chest, is read contents. That's a positive signal. Okay, um, so let's tackle something a little bit bigger. I wanted to do fertilizer, biomatter, and wood in one place. Wood, last 50 hours is 3.6k per minute. Um, how much is this? It's like three times that, okay. So if we can do like 60 wood per second, that's probably all we ever need. Uh, how much does a single top tier... Uh, is it greenhouse? Yeah, greenhouse. How much does one of these give us with max modules? White beacon 2, 2, 3, 4, plus 2400, plus 1700, plus 300. This is not usual because we've got three modules in here. Three speed modules since we can't have prods. Uh, that's minus 80%. I guess we're going to have different... We might have different white beacons for the other machines. We'll see. Uh, anyway, this is only 13 per second. So, like, four of these should be more than we ever need. So let's aim for supporting four of these, probably. And for the fertilizer, last 50 hours, 356 per minute. So about 700 per minute should be way more than we ever need. We cannot prod this, so that's going to have the same shape as this one. Uh, I think the speed of the machines is the same, yep. So per minute is only 50. Hmm, okay. So we might actually need a few of these. Especially since we're going to be making more... Uh, more fertilizer. That's 400. 300, okay. I'm going to guess that eight of these is probably more than we ever need. Um, and fertilizer. Fertilizer is made with... Uh, also a bio... No, wait. Uh, advanced chemical plant. Which also fits three modules, right? But I think it's... Uh, no, this fits four. Fertilizer is down here. Uh, this is going to be prod modules, though. Minus 80%. Presumably, we could 
fit another speed module under this. So maybe I'll have two white beacons. Especially since these machines take up some space. Uh, how much foot do we need to support this? 42 per minute. 0.7 per second. Way less than what one of these machines can do. What was our goal? Fertilizer. Last 50 hours. 357 per minute. Yeah, one machine is going to be way more than we ever need. 2.1k. Okay, we definitely don't need to, like, have its own beacon for that. That's super positive. Alright. Uh, maybe we can put all of this under one beacon. How should we shape it? We could even direct insert the fertilizer. Hmm. Okay. So our, 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 our solid inputs are sand and nothing else. Our solid outputs are fertilizer, wood, and biomatter. Uh, and we need some petroleum. And we also need some atmospheric condensers to support this, but I think we only need like one or two. Come to think of it. I remember seeing... yeah, here they are. Something similar... Yeah, for nitrogen. Okay. Alright, so we should only need one or two of these, making oxygen. Uh, if we give it speed modules, that's super positive on oxygen. I don't think we need any modules here. Not even close. Hell, I'd almost expect this to keep up without modules. 2.7k, negative 1.5k per, per minute. 45 out of 70 per second. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, now how are we going to fit all of this together? I think we'll maybe do a beacon in the middle. I can't make it perfectly symmetrical with this one machine. Maybe we won't do the direct insert. What if we did drop off for the inputs for fertilizer over here? Let's do a huge storage tank this way. And just belt these inputs down here. And that fits under that beacon. Very convenient. Uh, we could then have output station like this. Simple. Very elegant. And I guess we'll do this again. Just limit the front. Um, so that's already the output and input for fertilizer. 
we're going to want to take fertilizer directly from the machine into these wood machines. We also need sand. Let's do the drop off. Actually, I think I want to do the wood up the top left, uh, top right. So I'm going to do the drop off over here. And I don't know if we can. Mm, I don't know if we can make this kind of symmetrical. What the? Out of rail. Okay, maybe I put the beacon a bit further up. I don't think we can fit, uh, like, two of these here, though. Technically, we can. Hmm. How much water are we going to need? Might have to build this close to the coast. That actually looks pretty good. I could always move the beacon over a little bit, but if we can please Symmetria, we shall please Symmetria. Evil Plow, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Johnny Dan, welcome in, by the way. Snuck in with the orange name after Echo. Uh, we can't put these right next to each other because of the fluid. I'm pretty sure these won't, like, share patrolling. They do. Huh. Did I take advantage of that before? I think so, yes. Yes, we did. Cool, cool, cool. Um... Does that mean these will also share oxygen, just not horizontally? Interesting. It doesn't look like I can have my cake and eat my cake. This one's going to have to be slightly asymmetrical, I guess. So these two get oxygen, and then we just do something like this. I think it'll be a little bit neater if we do it this way. I don't have any pipes that are the same color as these. I guess regular pipes. We know we don't need much throughput. Yes? 70 per second for the lot of these. Yeah, no. Okay. Uh, how about some regular old pipes? They kind of look like they belong. And petroleum... We'll have a drop-off somewhere, at least to this. So, water drop-off. How much water does this go through? 280 per second maximum. Uh, 214 seconds, or three and a half minutes per train load of water, if we don't direct supply it. But I think we'll just replace the old, uh, the old wood block with this. Yeah. Let's kill the inputs so that we can drain this out. 
and bump up the priority. Although I suspect... What is this one doing? Oh, we've got a station just called Provider. That's why. This one also has that schedule? Wait, wh where is this? What? Where did you... Oh, is it here? Yeah, I meant to fix that earlier. Okay. Won't be long till the trains get here. We can do that right now. Should probably refactor material testing packs at some point as well. I'm sure we can do better, even though this looks kind of cool. All right, no more trains coming or... Yeah, no. You're already carrying. No, you're not. You're going back to the depot. All right, cool. We can get away with changing this. And back to before we were chasing squirrels. This should say wood. I just want to double check. I'm pretty sure there isn't a train dedicated to carrying wood upstairs. Um... But if we mess up its schedules, that could be bad. Yeah, no, we're good. What, what am I doing? Uh, sure. Would have been cool if the pipes were semi-transparent, so they only add a tint to the color of the liquid that's inside them. Yeah, being able to see more clearly what is in the pipes would be kind of good. Okay. There's not that much storage here because we limited it, so it wouldn't be that big of a deal to come and decon and take it back to... Uh, back to the mall. We also didn't request much sand either. Good job. Oh, wait. Weren't we going to make the biomatter on the spot? Which means... We don't need this. Yeah, this is the biomatter we're going to use. If I'm not going to move the pylon substation, then we're kind of compelled to put this here. Which is going to make the belt output a little awkward, but I'm sure it's fine. So we've already got output for fertilizer and wood. And we also want to do biomatter to the mall, uh, to the rail network. Um, ideally, wait, what inputs are we missing? So nitric acid comes in here. Sand and water, well, water's just going to be direct, but sand comes in here. Uh, I guess it's technically not going to be balanced. But it's probably fine. Wait, how much input is this? It's almost nothing. I would kind of prefer to get away from inserters, though. What if... Uh, I'd like to widen this a little bit and put the sand input down the middle. But... It ain't happening. Something it never, it never occurred to me to check... Is... This doesn't input here, does it? No. Maybe it did occur to me to check that. 
and Doracon, welcome in. Did you activate the Combinator for the testing pack provider again? Uh, good question. I did not. Thank you. I guess the easiest way to determine if there is overproduction is check if the storage of the segment is full. Yes. That is generally a good indicator. Um, yeah, I guess I just want to... Do it like this. Super overkill belts, but I really just like the cleanliness and consistency of loaders. That looks a little weird. I like that better. So this is sand. That is not going to reach. We could just put some more storage as an excuse to connect that. And I guess I wouldn't mind putting these further up here. I kind of like that, actually. That still reaches. We can do this. Put the oxygen producer... Oh, it really doesn't fit in the middle anywhere. Uh, okay. Well, uh, this will have to do. And I think we can probably have... Probably don't, don't even need to impose on this space here. How close can I put this? How much biomatter do we need? 8.8 .8 per second. Uh, more than eight of these for this to go full speed, but... But we already confirmed the one machine for advanced, uh, for fertilizer is way more than we ever need. Oh yeah, we need to get fertilizer in here as well. Oops. Uh, how about... Something like that. That's not going to end up being so neat. I really want that beacon to stay where it is, or even... It doesn't really help, but I could bring it up here. No, then it wouldn't touch this thing. Uh, but yeah, this leaves us room to do other builds down here, theoretically. We're going to need a drop-off for petroleum. I could do the petroleum up here. doesn't need to be very fast, right? 70 per second. No, no it doesn't. So that could go here. Let's just 
do it like that. And how does this line up? Not quite. I could make it line up. Actually, yeah, I think I can bring this in one tile. It looks a little bit snug, but it means this pipe lines up here perfectly. And then we can just do that. I'm pretty sure if I put a regular one here, it doesn't reach. Yeah, no. Okay. So let's just double check. Petroleum finds its way into all of these. Uh, rather slowly at first. Huh. That's interesting. Oh, no, never mind. I thought it wasn't going to share this way, but it does. I thought it was only going to work if it was right next to each other. Uh, but yeah, all of those are getting what they need. Fantastic. Does the wire reach across here? It does. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, and we need an output station for biomatter as well. I guess I could just put it like here. That's probably fine. Oh. Oops. I don't... Uh, I don't really want to use up this space, but I guess it's fine. I guess it will have to do. Unless we want to do like a not bulk rail loader provider station over here. That's going to be pretty awkward. I could always do... Uh, do the blasphemy of having one bulk rail loader that supplies both wagons. It's not out of the question. In fact, if I'd realized I could do this... I don't know. I, I, I don't love the aesthetic of it, but uh, that is one way to solve the problem of rebalancing trains so that you can have short or long trains pick stuff up. No. <laughs> All caps, no. I <laughs> see how it is. Uh, um, but yeah, I think... I, I guess we could squeeze in a provider station like, kind of like this, and we'd still have room for the standard small builds over here, except that that train stop is exactly in the wrong spot. I mean, normally the small builds don't take up quite as much space as this, but still. Is that okay? Nope. What if I put it like over here? Yeah, we could get away with that. Or even if I'm moving it over to the side like this, we could move it up here. Seems okay. Uh, 
Kind of like that. It's a little bit different from the usual, but it's not too bad. Does that actually let a train fit? It does. So now what the hell are we doing with our belts here? Uh, the whole thing's quite slow, right? Seven per second. So we can just use a half belt. Don't need to use, uh, like, splitters or anything. And... We want it to all be able to go here first as well. What's the neatest way to do this? This is very important. Why are we bunking? Build the stop back where you first wanted to build it and check the location again? You mean here? The corner's in the way. Or did you mean somewhere else? I guess we could just put it like here. It would mean that we couldn't fit like the usual station here that we sometimes have, but maybe that's fine. But I'm guessing you meant something else. No? That... That, that, that doesn't clarify very much. Give me a sec. Don't you need more fertilizer, or did I misunderstand something earlier? Uh, we've actually got way more production for capacity for fertilizer than we need. Uh, we can do 63 per second, or 3.8k per minute. Um, last 50 hours, we consumed 370 per minute. If we guess that we need double that for the end game. Uh, this is still way faster. One machine is still way faster than we're ever going to need. Uh, and that needs uh, 528 biomatter per minute. This can do 420, so that should be sufficient. Um, but yeah, I think... I think we'll just put this, like, here-ish. As close as we can, perhaps. Now, if we're going to use up, like, some of this space down here, then let's just not worry about it. Make it line up a bit better with this stuff. And maybe even let the train fit with the signals. Nice. Okay, so how about... 
I could actually make these a bit wider. Let's forget about this pipe here. And if we put these two tiles apart, then we could do our output belts like so. Or maybe... Maybe something like this. Would that work over here? Kinda. It looks a little weird. underground here and this half would get blocked. Oops. You could just do it like this. But then that's like... Eight belts for less than half a belt of stuff. But we could just merge it like that, I guess. I could probably live with that. It's not too messy. We do need petroleum to find its way down here. That's super convenient. Uh, and again, this only needs... 70 petroleum per second, so I'm sure... I'm sure that kind of flow is going to be okay. And then... Split it into this thing. And then bring it back around. Oh, that's exactly in the wrong spot. Uh, what if I move this up? That'll work. Yeah, that should be fine. And we'll just limit the front one to 50 stacks. Seems alright. I've seen worse. Yeah, this isn't... Uh, terrible. We could probably, like, merge these two and send one underground. But it wouldn't really be less messy. Was there a base SPM figure you have as a target? Uh, three of any science pack per second continuously. Yes. Yeah, that doesn't seem too bad. Uh, let's do some more test inputs. To make sure all of this works. Oh, I didn't do the direct belt for the fertilizer yet. Hmm. Which would be a lot... Oh. Yeah, why don't I just not use the same belt for these two? Uh, so if this goes here... We can do... Our inputs over here. And probably do the same thing over this way. But... Do it like 
Marcus. That's pretty clean. I can live with that. So these have all got their fertilizer. Uh, we're plus 38 per second on fertilizer, but we don't like have anything to super prioritize the wood, but that, that, that'll be fine. It'll saturate. And for our, the only, uh, test input I think we've got left, no, not fertilizer in there, God damn it. uh, is sand. Oh, and water, of course. Bit of water over here. And they all share. Wait. There we go. We do still need uh, wood to come over here. somehow. That's a bit awkward. Take it back, that's double plus awkward. I'm used to being prettier than you, but if that's okay with you, then so be it. Wait, what? What's wrong with this? I think this is pretty tidy. Now, how am I going to get the wood over here, though? If the beacon's going to be in the middle, I can't, like, move these apart so that we can belt down the middle here. Uh, I guess we could do... Something like this. Total wood per second is 56. It's more than a blue belt. But for this playthrough, that's not saying much. Uh, but yeah, we should be able to do it like this. That's actually pretty good. I kind of like that. That actually looks kind of neat. Can we do a little bit better for the belts for the uh, biomatter? Perhaps. It's a little bit tight, but I'm sure we can manage. Something like this. And I guess, well, the middle one is easy. There's plenty of room, but this isn't going to work over here is the thing. Hmm. I guess we could like. Do it something like this. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. And this one's just gonna... Do it like that. That's pretty consistent, pretty neat. I can tolerate that. Plus? What do you mean plus? Cool. 
Cool. Yeah, I like this. Let's get rid of the cheat items. Well, I guess if I'm going to blueprint it, we can just click those away. Red wire for pumps? Uh, true, thank you. So this connects to the logistic train stop output, from which we can get a signal type for the fluid that we're looking for. Um, and that's going to be negative one if the train is trying to empty itself. Nitric acid. Oh, we also haven't done, like, station names or requests yet. This actually took a bit of effort, so I will make a blueprint. Pickup station. And... There's just enough room for the train with the signaling, wasn't there? Yeah. Alright, so this is sand. Two train loads. Nothing else. Sand goes into... Greenhouse. Making wood. That's the name of the station. This one is... Nitric acid. Well, let's do the petroleum first. And nitric. Uh, and this is not needing a solid. I, I guess we can allow short trains to come here. Doesn't really matter. Petro... Nitric acid... And... Implant... Making... But... And bio what's it making uh what do you call it? Biomatter. And there's no other requesters. I feel like saving real quick. I've been playing the uh System Shock remake. Which is quite good, but it's crashed on me a couple of times. It's taught me to be nervous about losing progress. Well, I guess for the blueprint we can switch off the requesters for the initial build. And this is... Bio... Matter provider, short trains or long trains, provide stack threshold 100. You'll probably be a bit, either make it a bit higher or limit the container at the front a bit more because of the belt pushing stuff. Just because this uh, resource that stacks to 100 is produced so slowly. Yeah. What's this, 90 per second? So I think I'll limit the front to like 40 stacks. That way the back wagon gets full before... before too many items get pushed to the front. Not going to worry about that for the rest of these. Even though wood is super slow. It's not that slow. Half a stack per second. Assuming... Well, let's see. We're super, super, super positive on fertilizer. 
I should probably priority... Uh, priority the biomatter into this thing. Because we've got a very small buffer. If this isn't full, we've got a very small buffer for the biomatter that goes into the fertilizer. But... We can mostly keep up with this insane amount of fertilizer, which we don't really need. Also, we're still saturating this thing. Which I guess is probably super overkill. Oh, I got rid of the water. That would probably help. That might have something to do with it. Why is there fertilizer on this thing? I was behind on SE change logs. Welcome in, Zaxxon. It looks like Arendelle made spell evaders directly connect planet and orbit electric grids directly. No more power limit. That's nice. Not sure what the point of that was in the first place, to be honest. Okay. That seems good. I'll just remove that from the blueprint. And I think we're ready. Although, before I build it, I want to put it back to tier 6 modules. just so we don't have to swap it out after the fact. And this is going to be however many efficiencies it takes uh, for this to make sense. Plus 1100%, plus 800, plus 5, plus 2, minus 80. And this one's already minus 80. Cool, cool, cool. So what kind of rate are we going to have straight away? Uh, slightly negative on the biomatter, which is expected. Very positive on the fertilizer. Discounting the slight slowness from the biomatter. 37 wood per second, or 2.2k per minute. Uh, last 50 hours is 3.6k per minute, but that's probably fine. We're getting a lot of wood from, as a byproduct of, uh, as a byproduct of Vitamelange. In fact, we had to make crushes to get rid of it. So I'm not too worried about that. Uh, but yeah, that seems pretty decent. Let's build it. Luckily, for the same reason Factorissimo 2 did, the fork of that mod did a similar change. From SE changelog. Improved and standardized rename buttons. Nice. All fields now come with a rich text icon selector and can be confirmed with the enter key. I hope the uh, AAI signal transmitters have that feature at some point. You can already get around it by copy pasting from like a train stop name. It's just a little bit fiddly. All right. 86, 25, 1. 
actually get rid of these first. Why are we bunking? Connect loaders to LTN. Thank you. Seems good. Eighty six twenty five one. And this is fertilizer, wood, and biomass. What? The biomatter. And we use this icon to say this is shaped for final tier modules. No need to, no need to redo belts or anything like that. Ever. Uh, T9, Furt, Wood, and Biomatter. Tiles, and train stop names. Sure. Oh, let's toss that in... I don't know, somewhere probably. I'll just put it in with these other tier 9 builds. Even though Wood isn't exactly a component. Uh, and we were probably going to build it, like, right here, where the old wood build is. Still going through this old sand and stuff. Uh, it's fine. Let's just ride over there. Actually, yeah, bring the decon train first. Landing pads are now sorted alphabetically in dropdowns. Nice. As opposed to what? I'm guessing, like, historically? Like, when we select channels on AAI uh, signal transmitters, it's just in order of when we made them. Okay. What's this? Landfill? Is this the only place we make landfill? No, definitely not. Uh, that's quite a lot though. Whatever, we'll see what we can fit. And pick all of this up as well, please. We do need sand over here, so that's convenient. Uh, I should probably have thought of that before I had the train pick up all that sand. Oh well. Used to be an order of creation. Okay, cool. Remove any old power poles and wind turbines. Are we full? No, we're not. We might be getting a bit low on power, though. For the bots. Not too bad yet. Oh, they're trying to empty out the landfill. Probably running out of room. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's as good a start as any, I suppose. Pick up this as well, actually. Uh, get rid of this. Well, I guess we're going to be overriding it anyway. Don't need the water. Uh, 
and grab our blueprint. Place. Let's get the floor train here immediately. And we'll put back what we can. Oh. Don't have any bulk rail loaders. Uh, let's bring the construction train already then. Wait for inactive. Oh my goodness. Wasn't quite expecting that. You might want to wait till I empty you of wood. And can we get these bulk rail loaders in so I can start moving the wood around? Whenever you're ready. Okay, there we go. Give me... Wood. Would you kindly... And... Pick it up from here. Try not to run onto the rails. Oh, there's a train coming, actually. Oh, there's a train coming, actually. Well, that's fine. Yeah, that should be okay. Just leave this full. And this train is blocking it, so we can do what we like on the rail here for now. Hurry up and get inside. There we go. Oops. That is definitely not where I meant to click. Oof. Uh, okay. Wood goes here. Give me this sand. Give me this sand. Give me this sand. That's actually all of it. And I guess I'm okay with the rest going back to the mall. Uh, this is not connected because I guess the train stop was already here. Bulk rail loaders don't like to connect. When there was already a bulk rail loaded there. We are going to need a singular pump. And I guess it's going to have to be steel. Underground pipe. Construction train isn't here anymore. We also need to bring some Bio labs over. And I think I'd rather recycle the ones we've already got. Uh, I don't know if we've got random bio lab. No, we don't. So I'll send the decon. Wait, wait, wait. Would. And we already put back what we can here. All right, cool. Go home. Uh, and you can also go home. And we can get rid of this. Remove this once the train is gone. Whenever you're ready. Suddenly traffic everywhere. Okay, cool. Uh, let's... Um, I'm going to steal another Atmo condenser. Don't die. Yoink. 
It's so weird how the, uh, there's no momentum, it just disappears when we go to jetpack mode and then have to accelerate from scratch. Uh, so we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight biolabs. This one's already ready, except it's recharging, but that's fine. Let's just steal some biolabs. And then come up here. And that's going to be around, around about here. Didn't we need eight? That'll do. Definitely make this build a bit smaller. I'm not sure why I ever thought I might need more of these machines. Wait, there's no, um... Oh, I think we already did the math on this, like, twice. It's more stack efficient to take pistol mags up the elevator than use iron and coal upstairs. But there it is. There's our build. Uh, we do need the construction train because I don't... Wait, wait, wait. Can I handcraft? No, I need steel plate. I don't have any steel underground pipes on my person. Uh, and we're not using these anymore. And switch on the requests. And we should see this thing fire up quite soon. There's our water. Cool, cool, cool. Just waiting on nitric acid and petroleum, which is taking longer to get requested than I would have expected. Provide threshold 60k, minus 100k, minus 100k. Oh, it's not connected. There we go. That's surprising. I would have thought I placed down a blueprint to get the to get the requester station in the first place. This is connected. This is connected. This is connected. Yeah, I think we're good. All right. Where's our train? It's going to be here quite soon. And petroleum train has to go a bit further. But there's our sand. I don't know if I rebalanced this. I did. That's going to the right place. Now we just need petroleum for the biomatter. And I guess we'll go ahead and decon the old biomatter blocks. Uh, I think though we've got something dependent on biomatter upstairs. Is it just bio sludge? Bio matter, because we don't need that anymore. Bio research data happens downstairs. Fertilizer happens downstairs. First aid kit never happens. We're not using pollution filters. Biolab med kit bio sludge. Okay, cool. We can completely ignore. Um that we were sending biomatter up the elevator. And let's retire this train. Um, so I think 
here is the drop off. No, that's the pickup. Go here, wait till empty. And then just park over here till we decide what to do with you. Alright, which means we can go right ahead and decon these biomatter builds with Reckless Abandon. If I can find them again. That's an awful lot of biomatter we don't need. Good grief. Might just do this for now. just recharge. This one's full though. Let's do another trip. Are all the trains at the new bio full of sand? Full of sand? Uh, what the... What? What happened here? Oh, oh. Uh, somehow we summoned 20 trains nope. worth of sand. <sighs> okay. I must have given it one more digit than I was meant to. Okay. Nope. It, it's fine. Um, we just need to... <sighs> Let's just keep dropping off sand here. Send them back to the depot after that. Turn it into matter. I just have to do this about... 14 times. <sighs> okay. I didn't accidentally send one to the wrong... Uh, we'll find out Remind soon. Yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Okay. It's... It's fine. This is fine. It's only like a third of our trains that are queued up here with sand. It's it's not it's not that big of a deal. Uh, it's almost enough that I want to automate cleaning up this mess. But not quite. Wait, can I, like... Why don't I... Put this on manual. Give it a schedule that looks like... This. And then... Copy past to the schedule. Oops. You okay there, buddy? Nope. No, you're not. There you go.
That's much easier. Wait, what? Oh, you're... Wait, what? What are you doing? Huh? Did... What? The... What just happened? Wasn't I copying the ones with the schedule to go over here? Did I copy the wrong one because that looks like sand? But then why did it come here? I... How long has this train been here with iron plates? I'm very confused. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Where's our new solid rocket build? Uh, good question. Where is our new solid rocket fuel build? I think that's it there. Right below this one. Yeah, so we'll just drop the iron plates in here. And then go to depot. Seems good. Wait, wait. That's not sand, is it? It is. How did we end up... Okay, how did we end up copying that shed... I don't know. Just, 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 just go. Just go. Oh, don't tell me. We were copying a schedule that had other stops in it as well. And it doesn't go straight to the sand drop-off. Okay. So I think... We've just about sorted it out. And there's not as many trains waiting here as I would have thought. So that's good. How fast does this eat sand? 375 per second. So almost two stacks. Almost as fast as the trains can drop it off. That's cool. Alright, let me just tag this properly before we forget. Wood. Biomatter. And fertilizer. And this down here is solid. Uh, and these are waiting to be removed. Cool, cool, cool. Hi, how's it going, Krasus? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How's your progress coming along? Uh, we did make a victory ship. And today we've been uh, cleaning up and reducing the size of some older builds. Like, we just did a build for fertilizer, wood, and biomatter. Uh, this is the whole thing. This should be the last build that we ever need for this. We can just put tier 9 modules into it. Uh, and that's going to replace what was an entire block here for wood. Um... Well, we we no longer needed like four blocks of this, but we had we have them, and we're going to remove them. The biomatter, uh, and then we've also got like a fertilizer build over here that takes up half a block. 
kill the inputs for that. Priority... Oh, I think the vanilla train comes to pick it up from here anyway. Pretty sure... Fertilizer... Yeah, fertilizer still just has vanilla schedule. With dedicated train. We'll just let it run until it runs out. Which might be a while, actually. Uh, but this is further from the space elevator anyway, so that uh, this one is further from the space elevator anyway, so the train is going to come here last. It's kind of implicitly got lower priority. And apparently I didn't name these stations. There we go. Did we empty this? We did. Fantastic. Uh, what was I doing? Chuck the wood in here. And I'm definitely feeling a bit overdue for a break. Oh, um, but before I do... I definitely want to move some of that copious, copious biomatter up here. Since it takes a really, 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 really long time to make it, uh, and we've got ludicrous amounts lying around, I would like to prevent the system from making more until we actually need it. Come to think of it, um, empty my pockets, please. That's a lot of deep space underground belt, uh, deep space belt to be putting in the downstairs mall, actually. We'll sort it out later. Okay, that's fine for now. Let's go pick up... What's all this then? Old red circuits is ready to be dismantled. Fantastic. Grab our deconstruction train. And... There should be enough room in the train for it to one-shot this. I think. And these old things as well. Cool. Back to what I was here to do. Rip. And we'll use some of the Spidertron storage space. Why are we full of explosives? Oops. Should probably swing by the explosives build. It's probably already full. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very, very full. Okay. It looks kind of weird. Alright, biomass goes in here. And once more with feeling. Uh, where was it? Over this way? And we've got three more of these blocks to clean up. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of stuff that I that I'm yet to update. 
Uh, we don't even have prod modules in these things. 48 machines each for uh, low-level tech cards. That one's not powered right now. Or at least some of it's not powered. Yeah, all of these builds we're going to drastically reduce the size of. Might even be able to bring some of them together if there's some overlap in inputs. They all want blank tech cards, but that's about it, I think. Uh, we're obviously already good with the uh, rocket tech cards. Spider research data wants biomatter. Okay. Anyway, uh, can we find room for this? Probably not. Not even close. But uh, that'll do for now. Let's shove what we can in here. Actually, if we unlimit it, we should be able to move all of this at once. Looks good. So, looks like you've created storage yard for RSS. You create on planet RSS. Really simple syndication. Uh, rocket something something. RSS. Resources. Oh, okay, sure. Yes. Uh, let's speed this up a little bit. And... One more trip should do it, right? Mm, not even. Okay. Streamer needs food badly. So, we're going to do some words on stream. Uh, where is the bouton? Here we go. Looks like... Looks like our game from yesterday isn't going to load. I saw some high difficulty words on stream, on Dr. Doof's stream earlier today, and some of the unexpected and creative ways that words on stream gets difficult is a bit terrifying. Okay, that should do it. All right, we'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Why are we earn knowing? All right, let's continue with SE, shall we? Did it crash? No, I just closed it because I was just just about ready. All right. One more trip, and that'll be the end of this block. Heat shields doing their thing. All right, here we go. Actually could have fit a bit more in the trash slots, but it doesn't make a difference to the number of trips we need to make to get this done. Go, spider, go. What should we do after this one? I still need to clear out the old blue circuits. I might leave the Holmium cables here for now at least. Oh, and we're done. May as well grab these. Okay, how's our dispatch system doing? Six barrels, six erudite, five immersium, five barrel, uh, sorry, holmanite, four copper, three stone, three vulcanite. Why is it always so low with the vitamelange? Like, correct me if I'm wrong, but... There's always plenty of vitam lunge to pick up. Uh, yeah. There's always plenty of vitam lunge to pick up. And yet, it seems like every time I look, there's only a couple or a handful of ships bringing Vidom Lunge back. It's very strange. That said, uh, there's not a single block that doesn't have some Vidom Lunge core frags to process right now. So that's pretty cool. Doesn't seem like we're struggling. In fact, uh, pack four. Bioscience pack four. Consumption. Uh, there was a spike. Oh, did we drop to zero? We did. Okay. Finally. So where's the, uh, where's the issue? This is what we've been waiting to find out. Oh. Just barely room for everything here. Where does the bottleneck trace back to? We do have by four. It's actually... Matter Science Pack 2. Huh. I didn't even consider that. I mean, Matter Science Pack 2s are not cheap, but Bio 4s traditionally have been much more expensive in terms of what we're able to keep up with. We've got plenty of Matter Catalog 2s. We've got matter, we've got particle stream. We, we don't have scrap? Wait, what? 
I thought we were sending scrap straight down the elevator. How did I even manage to get scrap delivered here? It takes 10 scrap to make four matter science packs. Uh, pack twos. Yeah, we've got less than a train load of scrap here. Um, we have five trains that take scrap downstairs. Uh, and when it goes downstairs, it goes straight over here to get turned into iron and copper and stuff. Which we don't want to have to bring down the elevator. It's more stack dense this way. So currently, I guess we don't actually have a systemic solution in place. Uh, like, we don't have an... Oh, no, we do have LTN. We do have LTN train stations offering scrap, but... But it all gets thrown down the space elevator as top priority, basically. So we've emptied it out. And because science has stopped, we're not producing scrap anywhere else. I never thought I would find myself in a position to want to make scrap arbitrarily. I'm actually scared to check how many different ways to make scrap there are. 37. Um... Well, no, that's broken tech cards. When we make secure canister... We can turn old cargo pods into scrap. Pretty sure we've got a few of those lying around. Lots and lots of scrap comes out of uh, material science, especially impact shielding data. Testing pack, meta catalog, particle stream. Oh, this is the crappy recipe that we have to use initially to get matter. Yeah, I forgot about this one. I mean, if we really, really want to arbitrarily make scrap, we could do that. It's pretty wasteful, though. Okay. Anyway, um, I was thinking we could maybe steal some scrap from here. Um, if I remove the limit for impact shielding data temporarily, we're going to produce loads of scrap really, really fast. Of course, first the sushi belt has to catch up. Because it's still full of uh, output. There we go. That's starting to look normal. Um... But yeah, maybe I turn off? God, I'm gonna forget about this and then wonder what the hell happened. Oh, it's already negative priority request for the scrap here. So it is a lower priority, but like... There's probably only like one or two places requesting scrap upstairs. Uh, let's see. Matter Science Pack 1, Matter Science Pack 2, no doubt. Um, we can send it somewhere with Delivery Cannon Capsule. 
Scrap turns into iron, etc. We can turn scrap into landfill. Yeah, it's literally just the matter science packs. So, really, hmm. Maybe. Maybe I should refactor the matter science pack builds so that we have a huge storage of scrap and if it gets too full we take it downstairs to be turned into something else rather than being used in matter science packs. Why do we want scrap? Uh, just for matter science packs, as it turns out. That's the only thing that we actively want it for. And that's why mining prod 15 has stopped. It actually has nothing to do with bioscience. In fact, it's looking like bioscience is just never going to stop being saturated. Not until we change some things. Welcome in, Kirk. Kirk. No scrap, the squirrels have got revenge. Wait, what? Also, can a short train pick this up? No, it can't. Which means this is just going to downstairs. Oops. Oh well. We're just getting ahead of time with some of our data cards here. It's fine. But, yeah. There's only, like, four, eight... There's literally only eight items we take down the space elevator, so we could do all of that in a half block. I guess we'll just make one block for taking things down, and we'll probably never need to completely fill it. Oh, does this stuff go downstairs? It does. Uh, so that's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Well, we can fit 16 in one of these blocks, so that's okay. What's over here? Testing packs. Uh, short trains only. Where would that go? Probably nowhere. I should just dump these into the mall. Let's use you. Was it this one? Yes, yes it was. Okay, go here, wait till full, and then return to mall. Good, good, good. I don't really feel like making the new system for sending things downstairs right now, but... I really should. Mm, I really should. Okay, fine. Let's go. Is this train doing okay? Yeah, it is. So this will be the first block that we use to bring things downstairs. Um, I'll probably put it like here. Well, it depends what we're bringing down. Most of this goes to modules. 
That's what all the catalogs are about. Uh, machine learning data also goes to modules, I think. Bioelectric data quantum processor. Bioelectric data. Does that come over here? No, I think it's this build. Uh, yeah, bioelectric data quantum processor and advanced neural gel. This contraption we came up with for three different vanilla train schedules. But I hadn't actually thought about fluids. Or hadn't revisited fluids. I don't think fluids are going to change for our designs for bringing things up and down the elevator. I think it's just going to be, like, probably one uh, train for each resource. Although the trains do completely empty. But if it's a vanilla schedule, uh, we have no way of checking which... No, surely, we, yeah, we do have a way of checking which fluid is in a vanilla train, right? We can just read train contents. If we put... a fluid wagon here... Crazy dimensions. Okay, and then we read from the LT, uh, the train stop. Read, uh, read train contents. Uh, and I guess set this to crude oil. Fifty k, yeah. So surely we could make up something. shaped more or less the same as this, although probably not as compact with fluid containers. Let's see. So we're going to I don't remember leaving that there. We're going to start with the template for bringing solids up the elevator. I know, I'm chasing a squirrel. It's fine. It's probably fine. Okay. Now, where's our new design? Uh, here we go. Vanilla to LTN up. Version 2. So we're going to have drop-offs here. There's not going to be any bulk rail. And, well, obviously this it's going to be a bit less tight than this. Instead of filtered loaders, it's going to be filtered pumps. Not that you can put a filter on a pump, but what we can do is... Connect to the train stop. And depending on which fluid we're looking for, 
Okay, how, how many pickup stations can we fit? If we want the trains to be able to come and pick up the fluid very quickly, then we're going to want minimum one pump connected directly to uh, directly to the fluid wagon in a big container. So that's an amount of space. We could probably only do like two of these for each quarter, but that would that would still be twice as dense as our current uh, system. So I'm thinking maybe. Let's see. We can actually make that super quick. And can we can can we get away with doing it both ways? Uh I forgot whether we're doing uh huge storage tanks or large storage tanks. We have to have two of them if this is gonna line up with the rail system. Uh, but maybe it doesn't need to. If we have a couple of provider stations like this, uh, we could definitely move this up a bit. Okay, let's just get rid of this mess. Suppose this next one is about here. And, well, that's not going to work entirely, because the f you, you can actually see it here. Uh, it doesn't make the little connector thingamajig. If this is, and also if you mouse over it, you can see a little yellow indicator for which part, which segment of the uh, fluid wagon it would connect to. Um, but because there's no, like, train pump connector thing on this, it's showing us that it's not going to connect properly because this curve is too close. But that said, I think I'm probably happy with just two pump connections per fluid wagon. That's still very, very fast. How fast? How far can I move this? Okay. So we could, like... One, two, three, four. Could do it something like this. I was, I'm, I'm, I was hoping to have, like... Two pumps for each input fluid type or, or output from the train. But they're not going to line up directly with the... Uh... They're not going to line up directly with the huge storage tanks, but maybe... Maybe it could be something like this. One of these is going to be direct and the other is going to go through here. It's going to have to be a little wonky. Like something like that. Alternatively, oh wait, 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 wait. So there's actually this one's actually straight enough that we can just connect all of these. Uh, if we have if 
if we only have one pump when the tra when the train that brings all of these up is dropping off one pump per fluid wagon for drop off isn't too bad but since we're pushing it through pipes it's going to be a little bit slower But I can't exactly fit... Oh, maybe I can. Maybe I can. It's not going to be the most consistent pattern. But... So we've got the middle four go directly to this one. And the outer four go to this one. So we've got... Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter that these two are close together trying to pick up from the same... Uh, the same third of the fluid wagon. They, they can't both connect at the same time, but these two are looking for different fluids to come from the fluid wagon. So this is just going to read train contents. Uh, and this is going to be set to... I'll just put in something... as like a sample. We're not going to actually use a fluid here, I guess. How about barrels? Filled with whatever. Water barrel? For the outside ones. And... Something easy to see the difference. Crude oil barrel for the middle ones. And we're just going to change these to whichever filter is appropriate. Uh, it needs to say greater than zero. Because we're going to get a positive signal when the train has a resource. And that's going to be a template for just switching it to whichever fluid. Um, so we have green wire touching all of these so that LTN downstairs knows what we've got. That's lucky that that connects. Uh, we, there's not going to be anything here to read. Red wire is going to go to the immediate LTN stop. And yeah, we could basically do the same thing here. That seems pretty good. Uh, and instead of... Instead of long trains only, instead of provide stack threshold 100, it's going to be short or long trains, 60k minimum. Or you could set it a little bit higher if you want to make sure that they get loaded quicker. Seems good. I need some floor here, and then space. Whoa, not that big, please.
That one already looks good. And then we just have to do this three more times. Because we can't just copy... Actually, a lot of this we can just copy-paste flip. Because there's no bulk rail loaders. Nice. Oh, I forgot. I just like the consistency of that. Alright, so we're gonna copy paste flip this over here. And that's gonna go there, I think. Seems good. Oh, and uh, I guess we can fit these signals here. That looks pretty good. We already did the station settings and names. Okay. Oh, and we need to do the wiring. Red wire... Wait, what? No. Red wire goes here. And red wire goes here. Cool. And then green wire touching all of these... Goes down here. And don't forget to... Connect this. Read train contents. Looking for fluid signal. Oh, hold on. Oh, are you kidding me? Um, I messed up. Because these two are going to be trying at the same time. And they're too close together. So basically... This one needs to go here. That'll still work. Yeah, that should be fine. And it can even look consistent. Um, so that goes there, that goes there, that goes there. This goes here, and this goes here. Cool. So, water, oil, water, oil, oil, water, oil, water. This one wants the... These two want... Uh, well, these two are going to go for the same one, but not at the same time. This one wants the back. This one, these, this one wants the middle, and these two want the front slash middle. Yeah, that should be a okay. Okay, so let's make sure we get it right over here. Copy, paste, flip. And then... 
Time to do all that again on the opposite side. So this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 8 uh, fluids, which might just fit everything. Uh, no, not quite everything. We've got like 12 spread across three blocks. So we're only going to need one and a half uh, for all the fluids that we're ever bringing up the space elevator. That's nice. And it's going to look a lot better as well. Okay, so... I guess remove this floor first. Tiles only. Look at around here. Copy. Rotate. And paste. And then... I guess we can copy this from here and put it on this side. And this goes here. That should be fine. Seems good. And we don't need to redo this signaling, do we? No. Nope. Oh, this needs to be chain signal. We cannot have a train stopping in this block. And yeah. I think that's basically it. And we can have one train uh, to bring two different fluids up on demand. As for the equivalent of this, um, let's get started. All right, grab our blueprint first, and we'll edit from there. That's going to be LTN Vanilla up. And since this is just four tiles apart... Wait, no. Oh, this might be a bit more complicated. Or is it? No, I don't think so, because we'd usually just... Yeah, no, no, this should be fine. So we simply need to... Bump straight from this one to this one. I could even just put, like, triple pump here. And that way we can be sure there's no dregs left over. And I guess we're not going to need the logic to say make sure this is empty before the next train comes in. Because it would be impossible. So I guess we'll put it here and here. I mean, we could make it exchange fluids even more quickly. If we really want to. I don't know if... Uh... That should be able to get the back of the wagon. So this would go here.
and this would go here, or more like here. There's actually no super consistent place to put it. Okay, uh, I, I think I'd rather just like do it like this. Uh, but yeah, pumps never leave like a little bit of fluid in them. So we should be able to transfer exactly 100% of the fluid from one fluid wagon to another. And... I guess nothing else changes here. We're going to be doing a provide threshold, uh, sorry, a request threshold, as opposed to request stack threshold. Long trains only seems good. And the default names are going to stay the same. Yeah, we're, we're not even, like, measuring what's here because there's nothing to measure. It's just in this fluid wagon and then it's in this fluid wagon. It actually kind of simplifies it. So that goes here. So the combinator had to change, uh, just to have fluid settings. Station name didn't need to change. Layout didn't need to change. We don't need... Well, it was questionable whether we needed this in the first place, but uh, we definitely don't need that safety feature. Since it's literally transferring directly from one train to another. Wait. Yeah, no, that's right. And be gone. And then put this back. Cool. That was pretty straightforward. Uh, let's blueprint these things. And then at some point we'll look at moving them over. Um, I don't know what to call this exactly. We'll just go by the naming convention from the other blocks. So that's for going up. And this will be as well. Snap to grid eighty six twenty five one. Tiles, train stop names. Did I do the tiles and train stop names? For the last build? I guess I should probably do it again just to double check. Alright, let's delete this and just grab it again. Eighty-six twenty-five one tiles train stop names, 
And we're good. And we'll copy this naming convention. Fluids. And we want, like, I don't know, a requester. For that one, no, wrong way around. That is provider. And this is requester. Okay, now where are we building this? Uh, I kind of want to put the first one right here. Which is a little bit awkward. I might procrastinate it a little bit. Anyway, that was a bit of a squirrel to chase. Uh, we were supposed to be moving... Can't even remember. There was something that needed to go up the elevator. Or down the elevator. It was scrapped down the elevator, wasn't it? Man. I don't want to work on this right now. But science has stopped because of it. And we've got an awful lot that we can... Just waiting to be consumed. Uh, maybe I should just run some other science that doesn't need matter science for the moment. Do we have infinites that don't need matter science? I don't... I don't think so. Whatever, let's knock out some of these. Damn. Rocket cargo safety 20 needs a million. Okay, so that should be consuming... over here. Womp womp womp. Fantastic. Simuton, welcome in. Ian Nua, good to see you again as well. Does it matter what fluid request a blueprint? Does it matter that it has belts in it? It has belts in it? This one doesn't. Uh, what do you mean? There are no belts here. Top right. But, but there, but there are no belts here. What? The other one had. Wh which one? This one. Oh, tree. Oh yeah, right. Okay, thank you. I mean, it wouldn't have done anything, but yeah. Okay, so hopefully that'll generate some scrap for now, so the other signs can work. Uh, but I should really come up with... Well, really I should transfer all of these to the new system. Uh... Have a have a uh, have have a halla. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is this thing stuck? Yeah, it is. I left it on the wrong stop. Um. 
So what are we doing? If I transfer these to the new system, it doesn't actually make a difference. Like, we're still going to have below normal priority drop-off for scrap, right? So really I need to redesign uh, Matter 1 and 2 science packs so that we have a storage of scrap that can be taken from when it's uh, overflowing. I guess I could... This only allows short trains. So scrap from over here is not getting taken. Mm. So really I need like a drop off. I, I, I need something... I basically need a storage for scrap that happens to be right next to Matter Science 1 and 2. which can take from it. I mean, I could just maybe squeeze it in here somehow, but I think I'd rather redo it. So let's look into that. Let's clean this up. And fill this out. Space. Okay. So matter. Uh, what are we looking for? Lab. No? What's it called? Research. Research. Advanced research server. Here we go. So we're going to do matter one. Matter two. Why does one look like a twosie? And two looks like a three. It's kind of odd. Uh, and I would like to direct insert the one into the two. If we can. That looks reasonable. Actually, oh, that's a little bit unfortunate. It has to have input... Thermofluid input and then in the clockwise direction, other fluid input. Oh, that might not be too bad. Okay. And for the scrap... Like, basically what we need is something just like what we use here. We've got a drop-off into a storage, into a consumer that takes from it if there's a certain amount. Except it's the other way around. Um, in this case, we want the consumer to always take from the container. And we'll just set the provide stack threshold nice and high. Um, so that it has to be pretty full before we start taking stuff down the space elevator. Because I'm not satisfied with just having... Hmm. I was going to say I'm not satisfied with just having a really big storage for this particular consumer. Because we're just going to end up in the same situation again. We need all scrap to potentially go through this thing. Uh, I need to think about this a second. I actually need another break, so let's do that now. And we'll
we'll do some words on stream. And we'll just do that in about 30 seconds. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Fantastic. Uh, all right. I wouldn't, wouldn't normally do this, but uh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to have to call it there. I am not feeling so well. I'm at my limit for today. Let's find someone to raid. If I can manage that much, I can't really think clearly. Mr. Dane is doing SEK2. Feel better? Thank you. Thanks for the stream. Hope you feel better. Uh, yeah, probably, probably continue tomorrow. Might be a late start. Uh, but I don't want to overdo it again. Uh, I think it's going to be Mr. Dane. We've raided Atomic Nature a few times lately, right? Yeah. Take care. Thanks, Veldak. Thanks, Simiton. The Sleeping Pirate. Crazy Heather. Appreciate you all. Turtles. Thank you all for watching. Do you take care. And I'll see you next time. Thanks, uh, Jenny as well. Check out the Discord of Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. And until next time, stay safe. See you next time, all you lovely lurkers as well. Alright, we'll drop in on Mr. Dane in just a little while. I should make a note before I forget that I uh, already redesigned uh, fluid elevator fluid already blue printed. There we go. Hopefully I don't just somehow ignore that when I'm looking at this later. That should do it. Alright, away we go. I am going to have to flip this. There we go. I probably have to flip all the others if I want to.